Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have another FM14 finished first division match for you. And today we have Ilves coming up. Um, I was looking ahead after this last FC Hockey match. We have kind of a favorable schedule on the way out. Um, like I said, this is this is it. This is the you know last what 10, 12 matches we have this season. Um, we have a couple tough matches, obviously with you know PK thirty five, Hakka, KTP a couple times in there, but for the most part, everything else should be should be not super easy, but should be favorable, um, especially with us being only a point off the race. You know, we can we can hopefully kind of give ourselves a good chance here. But anyhow, um, that is what it is. Um, Let's see, what else is there? Oh, uh, Harala is out for this match. He is um, suspended as he picked up the yellow card in the last match, and I don't know how many he need in the Finnish first division um, to, to, you know, I don't know how many you need to um, to kind of uh, incur the wrath of the FA, but whether it's five or three, or I don't really know, honestly. But anyway, um uh, so since he's going to be sitting down for this match, I'm going to reinstitute Nermela in there, and Owusu is going to be, is going to switch over to the other side and play there. That's pretty much all that I've got for you. Um, in terms of updates, this is, like I said, what we're looking at. It's actually very similar to, um, to the, to the other, well, God, I can't remember what it is anymore. The 41230. It's very, very similar to that. Like I said, the formation is really the one big thing that we're trying to figure the hell out. But, um, actually, let me do this before, before we get too far, oops, before we get too far into it, we need to go into team player. Do we have these set up? Nope, we do not. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, I think, I, I think I said this in the last episode. This is something that um, I don't have entirely figured out yet, um, but we do we do have a uh, close down, close down more. That's part of the formation. Yeah, already active. That's what I thought. Um, we're gonna leave that as it is. Um, these are the things. Like I said, these are the little things that I haven't quite um, specifically figured out what I want to do with. So it is what it is. Um, you know, I want you to close down more. Uh, actually, what do I have on the other ones? Hold on, I want to see Mark Titer for the other two. Tackle harder and pass it shorter. All right, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead. Oops. What the hell is it? There we go. Tackle harder, pass it shorter. See, as I said before, the, the defending is very simple in this formation. I mean, it's just you don't have to do anything outlandish crazy i mean it's that's the part of the game that should should come simple should come simple but it really doesn't because you know we're kind of all over the fucking place here but anyhow um i think i am gonna do something though i come to think of it you know when i start thinking of all the problems that we've kind of had with um with our defending has been at least from open play, has been in the middle. So I might move Hinkala over to the side and let Hagnum stand as the lone guy in the middle. See how that goes. This is probably going to backfire terribly and blow the fuck up in my face. But we're just going to try it anyway. Um, oh, we do have uh, Matthias Oyala come back. Um, he's been on loan at, was at HSV. That was something that was in the works before we started this game. So... Um, since we now have him back, that's nice. It also has, gives us a little more, a little more coverage. As I said before, this formation has a good amount of coverage. So, I mean, that's that's good. You know, that now that we can kind of do this. Um, like I said, we'll, our biggest thing that we're gonna have to improve upon, um, as we've already seen, is defenders. I mean, like I said, Hagblom is not even a natural defender. You know, and he's and he's our he's our central defender there, right in the middle of the three. Um, so we're gonna have to really do a lot, and bring in a lot of players, 
and also you know that's going to be an area where we're going to have to have a good amount of depth anyway for obvious reasons i mean we have to field three of them you know so therefore we're probably going to need in my opinion at least five maybe six that depends on the workload in the premier division i mean if, if we have a huge match load in there um because i'm not sure how many games they play i don't remember and we have a huge match load, then yeah, things are going to be difficult. And Stasila again. Oof. Oof. Some good positive runs early in the match. I mean, that's kind of nice. If we can do something with one of these, then no, of course not. Because they defend absolutely and astonishingly. I don't, I don't even know any other words to, to make it sound like they do it way, way better than anyone I've ever seen. But they fucking do it. Anyhow, um, yeah, I don't really know, Let's see if there's anything else we need to mention here, oh man, that should have been, that should have been a foul, come on now, it's kind of disappointing, but anyhow, um, you know, putting together some good possession there, 61% of the possession, that's not bad, not bad at all, really. I mean, it's, it's definitely... Ooh, I mean, oh, 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 where are you putting that ball? Who was over there? Who? I mean, it's a good thought, but, like, no one no one was there. No one was there. Oof. Oh, ooh, so now things are starting to come together a little bit here. Oh, good pass. Bad shot. Good pass, though. Good pass. It, this this formation really does, you know, when it works like that, you know, it really, there's really a good amount of room that it creates. I mean, you gotta understand, too, we're going up against some standard 4-4-2 here. Ooh. That was, that was borderline, uh, that was borderline penalty area there. Or penalty territory. Oof. Oof. It's a bit of a dangerous, dangerous corner there. Especially also under melee in there to get into. I mean, maybe that's something we should look at, should think about. I mean, there's a lot of things. That, there's a lot of things that we've done, or I've done, I should say, that have been. Whoa, that was tantalizing. If somebody would have made a run on that, they were standing still. Um, one of the things that I've done, which has been very detrimental to the way everything's gone for this team, is I mean, we've we've switched. First of all, I mean, new manager coming in, it's always a big, a tough, a tough time. You know, it's, this is for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, players don't respect you, you have no reputation, you know, shit like that. You kind of got to build some street cred in, in, in a way. Oh, man, that was tantalizing. You know, you got to build some street cred, you know, build up a reputation, you know, shit like that. Um... You know, and then, of course, when you switch formations, as we've had, and that's something, too, I, I I, don't, one thing that this game doesn't have that it should have is there's no, oh, my God, there's no, uh, there's no mechanic by which the other team that you have, when you come in and you take over a team, there's no mechanic that says they are used to running this formation, run it like this, like, like the, um, you know, oh, who's offsides anyway. You know, he there, there's nothing like that. I mean, that they have the um, that they have the what the hell are they call the assistant manager that suggests formations and shit like that. I don't know if they go so far because I've never taken them up on the offer. I don't know if they go so far as to suggest you know the actual playing style and individual roles for players or anything like that. But they don't have anything like that so that you can transition and come in and play a formation and have a user playing style that the team is very familiar with when you first take a job you know you go in there and just you know, play something play a way that the team is very familiar with playing and while you continue working in the background on your own philosophies in your own um uh whatever you want to call it your own playing style so that you know halfway through the season so you can halfway through the season you can unveil your um you know your formation use your tactics use your you know everything oh my god really jesus you know use all that shit while using 
you know the the current formation and the current tactics and all that stuff that's already there the current culture that's already established there to attain decent results you know so that way you don't kind of get into a new job and the results are all over the fucking place you know because you're trying to institute your own shit and they're unfamiliar with everything if that makes sense i don't think i did a very good job of explaining that but that's one thing that i wish football manager had because i think that would be very very helpful for a lot of reasons wow i've never seen that that went right up there and hit the fucking flag in the corner and stayed in i've never seen that happen holy shit i didn't even know that was possible i just kind of figured ah oh, good stuff see i like how gronholm sits or the complete wing back sit on the inside like that because if he sat on the outside the 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 ills player would have a much better chance to get to that than he did and that is also one of the big problems that this game has that's still the goalkeeper being dumb and taking it out of bounds like that. Eww. I don't even know if that stayed in. Easy pass. There you go. Don't be stupid. Pass. There you go. Oof. Oof. Oh, please, please, please. There we go. See, once again, now you're starting to see where this. Oh my god, really? He was offsides. How the fuck was he offsides? Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Just. Wow. Wow. Um. Wow. I think that was bullshit. I think that was bullshit. But anyhow, that's where some of the goals, well, a good majority of the goals should be coming from here later. Ah. Uh, yeah, fuck, I knew that was going to happen. But, good thing is, we can take Ose out, because we have plenty of coverage now, and because I'm, I'm afraid when they get when they get that little homestress thing, and they already have a card, my co shit, you know, that's just asking to get the guy sent off, in my opinion. He's going to go out there, do something stupid, put in a two-foot attack while he's already on a yellow card, and get himself taken off for no damn reason. And chances are, too, I mean, he's... I'm gonna do it before my substitution comes in. There's nothing more irritating than that, by the way. When you have a substitution lined up for a player with a yellow card, and he gets a second yellow before that substitution gets pushed through. Oh, I hate that shit so much. Hate that shit so much. Then anyhow, um, uh, 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 I hate that shit. That right there, that should be. That should be... No, that shouldn't have happened. Oh, wow. Jesus, he just hacked down Haglund, didn't he? Holy fuck. He's like, hey, I'm just gonna fucking kill this guy real quick. Watch this. <laughs> anyway, through the first 45, not bad. I mean, it's... See? Right here. He's gonna get a second yellow card. Nope, nope. Just talking to him. Jesus Christ. I just, like I said, I can't fucking stand that shit. That shit pisses me off so much. So fucking much. It happens a lot in this game, too. A lot. Do we have... Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something neat. Yeah, I think that was a goal. That's just me. I think that was a goal. I'm gonna come out and say that right now. I, I think we deserve that goal there. Hmm. Good thing is though is like we, we do surrender possession out on the flanks, but we do present enough bodies in the box to to cut out crosses theoretically. I mean, as you saw there, our positioning with how many players we have back there. Obviously, they still have to be good, right? God damn it! Now you just hack down Gron home for no fucking reason. Son of a bitch. I knew this was going to be one of those matches. I fucking just... I knew it. I just knew it was going to be one of those fucking bullshit matches. But, once again, since we have... This is where we get some extra coverage. Ramasaho was not... really going to get much time without changing this to this formation. Because now he can come in and play in that position. Even though he's a midfielder, much like Stasila is. 
you can play on that wing. And actually, he's not too terrible defensively either. But now, like I said, now we've got the opportunity to put him in there. I like the pressure there by Bonal. Now we just need to find some sort of possession here and get a goal that's not ruled out for the love of fucking Christ. I do like a little striped socks, by the way. I don't think I've said that. A little, a little blue and white striped socks. Oh, no, 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 no. Jesus. I don't know. Who got ahead to that? How did Stasla get to that? Anyone want to tell me that? No? They have some big guys on their team, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Which is funny, you know, they're probably one of those aerial, more direct teams, which is going to be what we're weak against. I mean, as we saw in the last match, all of our fucking goals conceded came from corners, set pieces, and whatnot. Hey, look at that. We have a throw-in for once. And in truth, like, weather like this, too. I don't know if you can... Oh, you have a chance, but no one ran at it. That's fucking frustrating. Is that a goal written all over it, too? Absolutely. Oh, Reisman gets another card. Yeah... Yeah. What? Now let's say, wait a minute here. Who's who's leading the card hunt here? Looks like we certainly are. All right. What do we got here, Michaela? <sighs> yeah. You know, just to kind of stay the course for now. I think. I mean, I I want to. Oh, oh. I want to take. I want to take a Uzu off, but we don't have. A defensive midfielder since Harala's out right now who can kind of step into that position. We could put Nisukongas in there and move up Hagblum into his natural position, but I'm not I'm not confident in doing that right now. There we go, Hagblum. Somebody oh no. No 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 no. Oh fuck. Come on. Really? Well, at least he botched the kick though. I am excited, you know, to really get this this team going. I mean, it's that's one thing I like about these games is as frustrating as this first season is. Like those second and third, fourth ones get really, really exciting because that's when you start having the financial power and the reputation to pull in some really good players with a ton, with a ton of potential. That's when the game gets so much fun. And then things get exciting. You get good players. You see them grow. You see them get better. You know, and obviously your team gets better. There's, you know, just championships and, and trophies and all sorts of really cool shit on the horizon. And, you know, it's it's fun. Although, you know, I, in, in truth, you know, matches like these in these lower leagues, you know, I'm not saying they're not fun. And I'm not saying I dislike them because you're not really playing for really any real prize other than the promotion. You know, but, I mean, it's it's one of those things where, you know, it's it's important to remember where you came from. In, in terms of, you know, what it took to get to where you are, and you know, now, and also, oh, Jesus, that's a goal. Oh, my. Oh, boy. I thought we just lost that match right there. Good thing is, I think FC Hawk is getting their asses beat by KTP right now, which is good. But, like I said, I mean, it's really, it's really nice to see, ooh, you've got options, oh, yeah. Oh, you get even more options there. Oof. Oof. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Don't defend well. We don't need you guys to do that shit. Damn it. But anyhow, um. Where, where was I going with that shit? I don't remember. All I'm saying is, like, it's. You look back on these times. You know, with with a certain sort of fondness later. I mean, especially when you start realizing, like, wow, you know, we've come a long way. Not a single one of the players that were on that team that got us promoted, you know, are, are around anymore. You know, I mean, you'll you'll see a lot of shit like that. That'll be it'll be different because you know, like I said, oh my god, that was off the fucking post. I don't know how the hell that's off of us. How in the hell we're not getting another corner out of that? I don't fucking know. 
Mm. Just mm. better defensively, though. I mean, I'll, I'll have to say that. You know, as as we get as we get more more accustomed to how this formation works, you know, you'll see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You'll see. Oh, please tell me that's gonna be. No, never mind. You'll see a little. You'll you'll see. You know the the potential that this formation has. Like I said, I mean it's. Oh my god. No, no, no. Three players closing down one guy in the corner. Well, it's nice to see. Sh oh, shit. I'm doing some nice. Nice stuff we would have been able to pull that off. But anyhow. I didn't promise that we get a fucking card already. Jesus Christ. Oh no, you have an opportunity of a lifetime here, my friend. And you take it. That's what I'm talking about. Be a little lucky with that one. There we go. I've got four clear cut chances too. Well, like I said, I mean with this formation we surrender possession. But you look at the clear cut chances, we've had four, they've had zero. That's where the effectiveness of this formation really is. I mean, of course, like I said, we haven't taken those chances, clearly. But, I mean, you'll see something like this. Where we'll surrender a good amount of possession and still come out of the game with two, three goals. And the other team will be left wondering how in the hell we're not, you know, winning. But anyhow, good stuff, finally. That was some pleasing shit. Really, it was. I'm very happy with that. And I think we just reversed all the roles there. I think, I think we did. Mm, should we? Should we? Should we be? Um, no, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna give morale a boost. You know, cause that's that's some pleasing shit. They did a good job. You know, not surrendering any goals and then fucking plucking one out of extra time. <laughs> yeah, they're all straightforward with the exception of that one bullshit offside it's called. But anyway, we did in fact get the win. And look at that. Look at that. Let's see once again. KTP, ACLU, and PK35 are all at the top. With not a single point dividing them. Oh man, damn. That's, that's, see, that's something too. We would be in first right now if we didn't surrender all those goals. If that was like a 1 1 game against FC Haka, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be where we're at. We'll have a better, we would have a better goal differential. But anyway. Or at least we should have a better goal differential. Oh, let's see how could they get their asses kicked. That's good to see. But anyhow, um, like I said, now you've seen now you've seen a taste of what of what we're looking at here. Finally, um, as things come together. Good thing is though, really towards the end of the I mean we are towards the end of the season already, but probably the last five matches or so, you'll probably see this team in the formation really kick in the high gear. Hopefully that'll be when, when it really matters the most. Because hopefully that'll be, you know, that'll be what decides, what decides who wins the the the, the division and wins promotion. Because that's what we're really looking for here. But anyhow, um, let's take a look at Crown Home first. Before we, all right, only nine and ten days. That's not so bad. Meaning he'll maybe miss one two matches. We got a week in between our matches, so we got he's got time to heal. But anyhow, um, yeah, don't worry about match preparation. You know, yeah, and that's something too. Like I said, I mean, you look at the overall familiarities. You know, it's it's very similar between you know our original striker list tactic and our current one. Um, we still we are gonna keep holding on to that four three three. Um. Uh, for not really nostalgic purposes, but um. We are looking to have like a plan A, B, and C really in the 4-3-3 is going to be a little different it's going to be much more direct it's going to be a more wide open game i did have to use a 4-3-3 actually i should tell you this story while i was playing on my galway file i i had to use my 4-3-3 against uh, arsenal because they packed the shit out of midfield they had like a 4-5-1 going on and that really blew up my 4-1-2-3-0 i mean it blew it up i mean we couldn't establish any possession because that's kind of where we played but because of us having the three attacking midfielders to put them just behind their midfield which was the strength of their formation they had five players basically out manning two and maybe three including the defensive midfielder so they really had the advantage so i went to the four three three because it was more direct and i was able to pass over that midfield 
and play more long balls and stuff like that. So that's why we're going to hang on to those. And this one, like I said, in my opinion, I like the way it defends. This is probably going to be our defensive formation, if you will. And then we'll have two different ways to kind of attack. Even though, like I said, our mentality with this is attack. It's not defend. It's, like I said, it's everything that the 4-1-2-3-0 is. Just a different shape. Um, and a few different player roles. So, like I said, we'll get into that in the coming seasons and the coming games. So, anyway, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Blah, 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 blah. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Tell your friends. Maybe. Or not. It all works.